Wednesday. It's Esther with your March wine tip and home tip. We are close to St. Patty's. If you are somebody that doesn't like maybe the Irish whiskey or green beer, I've got an idea for you this year. How about green wine? Yeah, I said it. We're doing, going to do a green wine spritzer today and it's really easy to do. If you've never had a spritzer, the idea of the spritzer is really just kind of refresh the wine, lighten it up a little bit. Um, it actually dilutes the wine so you can drink more of it without getting inebriated. And it's often used in the warmer months of the year. But who knows what the temperature is going to be this year for St. Pat's Day. So let me show you, it's really easy to do green food coloring, and I know, that's the whole thing. You thought we were gonna have green wine. Just one drop of green food coloring, then fill the glass up about two thirds of the way with ice. And by the way, you want your wine really, really chill, and whatever you add to it, you want that really chilled as well. And you can use any kind of white wine, Pinot Grigio, um, Moscato even. I'm using an inexpensive wine, Kim Crawford, today, and it's just a Sauvignon Blanc. I figure if I'm putting green food coloring in, I don't know that I really want to use one of my more expensive wines, but fill the glass about two thirds of the way. And you can already see the green coming out. Now, you can put club soda with it, you could put seltzer with it, you could put lemon lime soda with it. Just know, technically, if you put seltzer with it, it's a wine cooler. Who knew all this time you could be making your own wine coolers? If you put club soda with it, then it's considered more of a spritzer. So, this is really just kind of your taste preference. You can play with it and add as much as you like, but you'll see this just gives it, you can see why it's called a spritzer. This gives it the little bit of carbonation and it looks very refreshing, doesn't it? Then just add your little slice of lime and you're ready to go. Happy St. Patrick's Day from home. Okay, that's the wine tip. Let's talk about the home tip this month. So if you happen to be getting your home ready to go on the market, you hear this all the time, the less you have out for decor, the better. And that's sometimes really hard to do and you feel like your house is bare. But let me show you what I'm talking about. In my kitchen, I've used just splashes of color. Maybe this is just fresh herbs that I use to cook with, but I use those as decor. You can even use fresh fruit, like this really expensive way to add some color to your kitchen, or something like this, which is all that is is a candle holder and I stuck some stems in it, but look at the dramatic color that it adds to your house. And yes, it almost feels like a hotel, but remember that's the idea when you're showing your home, you want it to not feel personalized so that you know, people can envision their own belongings in the house. So there you go. Let me know if you have any questions about these things. I wish you a happy and safe St. Patrick's Day.